Hello guys, uh, Rebirth of Sheen here from the EOWCQ uh, Utrecht in 2023. And I want to bring to you my X3 drop deck profile. Uh, sad circumstances, definitely on me that I lost. Uh, the deck performed uh, flawlessly and I would have won every game except for one if I didn't uh, misplay. Uh, in certain ways. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's get to the deck profile. Uh, I was playing uh, Branded's uh, Bestial Dogmatica, mainly focusing on the uh, Dogmatica stuff, then on the Bestial and then on the Branded. But anyways, let's get to this. Uh, for Rituals, we are playing a one White Knight and one uh, White Relic of Dogmatica in the main deck. And that is all the main deck rituals that we're playing. We are not maining Albazoa because uh, if you resolve Albazoa game one, you have a slight chance to just lose the duel. And I don't want to end on an end board that sometimes loses you the duel. Uh, like outright loses you the duel even though you could have won it. Like your opponent could have bricked, but then you resolved Albazoa and um, suddenly they are plus four because they played Brandon. Um, in addition to those, we are playing three Ecclesia and one for Delay for the Dogmatica monsters. Um, I am also siding one. Uh, generally acceptable ratio. Uh, if you know my channel, it's obvious. Uh, we're playing one Cartesia. Uh, excellent card, really good. Sadly, uh, I was playing a combo that was banishing her turn one if I open Branded Fusion, uh, and I'll show the combo in a second. Uh, and in addition to Branded Fusion, uh, we're playing one Aloe Bear and two uh, Fallen of Albas, uh for the Branded package. Uh, I think those ratios will stay the same uh, with the deck. Maybe add another Cartesia. Then the, the part that won me a lot of games, uh, Bestials. One Lobelion, one Saranir, and two uh, Magnum. I didn't want to overcommit on Bestials due to a format that had both decks that die to Bestials and decks that uh, make you lose if you play Bestials. Like uh, if you play against uh, Life Twin, uh, uh, against the Rooney for Hire deck or a Kashtira, Bestials suck. Well, if you play against a Bestial deck or a Branded deck, uh, Bestials are godly or uh, Labyrinth. And that reflected also in my matchups. Um, generally amazing, and in addition also to directly um, say what I'm playing with them, one regains the best card in my deck, by the way. Um, recycles a billion cards, uh, keeps you in the grind, uh, made me able to resolve Branded Fusion three times, even though I only played two Albas. And... Um, and drawing cards is just amazing, and your opponent just has to deal with the bestials floating from the graveyard. And that's the reason I played Zaranir, because it foolishes bestials. And uh, in my line, I would want a bestial in graveyard every time, because I would open uh, end on regain beast every uh, every time I open Brown Infusion. Uh, for uh, hand traps, we're playing two Ash Blossom and three Imperm. Uh, I'm playing 41 cards. Uh, Probably one of these two was the 41st. Uh, I didn't want to play 3 Ash because the math would have been bad for the deck. And I wanted a consistent deck with 15 starters. Uh, this format, uh, because like you're playing an 11 round tournament, you need all the consistency you can get. Uh, speaking of more going second stuff, we're playing uh, 1 Talents, 1 Talents, and Triple Book of Moon. Book of Moon is amazing against uh, the worst matchup this deck has, which is Kashtira, but also it allows you to play around targeting effects, which is great. Uh, Talents and Talents both lost me two games against Flunder, my literally unplayable matchup. Now for the engine, uh, three Nadir Servant, God card, open every game, <laughs> open so often it's dumb. Uh, triple Dogmatica Matrix. I. It, the card that makes you consider to go second. Uh, one Dogmatic Calamity and two Dogmatic Macabre. Uh, this is the correct ratio if you're only playing two Ritual Monsters, otherwise you swap the ratios around. Um, but since I'm only playing two, I play that. 
Uh, then branded opening two times, uh, and branded fusion three times. And the final card is uh, Dogmatica Punishment, honorary engine card, but in general uh, a premium disruption that you can get off of the deck. Uh, if you only end on a Ecclesia, ending on this can often like uh, cause you to win the game. Uh, no exaggeration, uh, Punishment is insane in Branded, uh, Branded Dogmatica, even though you're locked out of the extra deck, simply because you get your engine back. And getting your engine and surviving is the goal of the deck, just so you can uh, live off of the Branded uh, engine stuff. Uh, for extra deck, one Mirajit, one Grand Gwynnal, one Albion, two Titanoclad, and one regular Albion. Um, about the White Knight Lock, uh, I did it once in this tournament against Branded, and I did it turn five. You never do the White Knight Lock that I featured in a future uh, in a past video. You don't do it ever blind first as your end board goal. You always do it when the stars align. For example, a Magna Mud Scythe just uh, fallen of Albus, and your opponent somehow added your White Knight. Then you decide to do, uh, go for this lock if you have a Cartesia or whatever. And uh, that lock uh, won me a game against uh, Branded. And funny enough, afterwards he tried to gimmick lock me, and then I had two Biz Shields, uh, which was insane. Uh, two Entus and one Garura. Uh, I wished Garura was not a fusion monster, because um, if, you, uh, if you get um, DD Crowed or uh, Biz Shield on Branded Fusion, this can randomly cause you to have to make Garua because all the Dogmaticas are spellcasters. Uh, Entas up to uh, best ratio you can play in fi uh, 15 cards. Sadly, we only have 15. One Despian Lulu Raw Lilith, amazing card. Um, simply because it has the utility to go both into the branded engine and the Dogmatica engine. Uh, and you're still sending this off of Matrix, and sometimes off of Nadir. If you want to play around Droll, which I not I haven't seen this format, uh, you send this off of Nadir to get Cartesia. Um, generally amazing, but you never summon it. Uh, two Arclight, one Omega, and one Malone for the rest of the Synchro Monsters. This card uh, outs so much stuff, and generally great, and especially because it's level 6. So you can send it off of Grand Gwynnal. And then one uh, Tri Brigade Bulcephalos, uh, so you can out Chaos Angel with Punishment. Uh, that is it for the extra deck. Side deck, uh, I think it could have used more work. One Albazoa. The idea was to play this only in matchups where this card, resolving this card is impactful. For example, against uh, the Runic decks. Uh, resolving this against Kashtira does barely anything, except for kill you. Uh, same goes for Thunder, Labyrinth, and Branded. But if you play against a Sprite deck, or uh, a Life Twin deck, or some kind of Rogue deck, this card is impactful, so you can slide it in. Triple Ultimate Slayer. Never seen the card today, but it would have been great every time I sided it in. Two Dark Ruler no more. Never saw it. Uh, when I sighted it in, it would have been great. Uh, Cosmic and uh, Feather Dusters. The only time I saw this was against Flunder, and the Flunder player had literally everything. What can you do? Uh, Draw and Lockbird would have been great in the matchup I sighted it in, but I never saw it. And uh, Triple Evenly Matched. Uh, this won me a game against uh, Labyrinth. And that game was game two, so... And game one I already won because of Bistials. So that was the tournament. My matchups were one... Um, one Branded, one uh, Labyrinth, and one um, Life Twin Runic Sprite. Those were my wins. My losses were to uh, uh, Flunder. Uh, shout out to them for being the best uh, draw of all time. Uh, Vanquish Soul. And uh, Cash Tira. Uh, for the Cash Tira one, uh, that was my fault. I arrived too late to the round. Nothing you can do about that except for be uh, faster. Uh, anyways, 
Uh, this is the deck profile. I might do a video on uh, more stuff you can do with the deck. Otherwise, uh, see you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.